Hi guys, this is how you make a life cast for an actress or actor. So you then have a concrete version of their face that uh, you then can make a mask out of, uh, a werewolf or vampire or whatever. Um, so we made some mistakes on the way to the end, uh, but I'm very happy with how it ended up. And I'll tell you the steps that I'd take uh, to make a better version of the face. But uh, I'm happy. So let's start the adventure now. <laughs> I, not, <laughs> you did it much better Okay, so, I can remember. Um, so, so guys, we're going so. to cut little eye patches for Sarah. We're going to make a witch character for her for Spell Fury. And we just don't want the goop from foam clay. It is non-toxic, but I wouldn't want the goop in my eyes. It's a little wet, I'm told. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's going to be great. So these little cotton pads here. Maybe cut it a little smaller on the sides, but would that be all right for my eye? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. A little Vaseline, it, and it'll stick there. It could even be bigger, too, like up for the second one. And then we just have to find, yeah, Vaseline to stick them on. And the plan is to stick foam clay <laughs> onto her face. Yeah. Like, yep. Yep. And we're going to put straws in her nose, so I'll go grab some straws. Um. So for my crazy plan to get a mold of Sarah's head, we're going to try... Crayola Model Magic, which is softer than my foam clay, which is over here. I believe it's softer, so it's going to take the shape of the face more. Hopefully. All right, so the Crayola Model Magic plan is not going to work for her face. It's too hard. No. So we're going with uh, Alginate, which is silica-free and Alginate. safe. Alginate. This will be very exciting. Are you excited? Oh, I'm... I Absolutely. All right. Here is the box of algae safe. So it's safe to put over your head and your hands. It has no silica in it. And we're gonna put that on Sarah. The other plan is not happening. This is. All right, so we have our measuring cup here and we have to do a one-to-one -one with this powder. Uh, again, this is silica free. Um, there we go, put it into the, the bowl to mix and we have to get some water. So we have the actress prepped and the straws are in her nose and those are to cover her eyes uh, so she doesn't get goop in them. Here I am mixing it up. It's a one-to-one -one ratio and we're gonna pour it over her head. Here we go. Goopity doopity. So I'm just using a spoon to slime her. Here we go. And we just want to work it across her entire face. And she's going to breathe out of the straw. So someone should be uh, beside her. So we have one more person. And watching the straw so she can breathe and making sure she's okay. Um, that's the most important thing is safety. You can get yourself into trouble. This stuff is really um, uh, pretty easy to break out of. Um, but you just have to be careful when you make the cast on top of that. And I just went for aluminum foil and, uh, and some like a gaffer tape and made sort of like a, uh, a casing for it. So it holds its shape. So here I am just trying to get it under her chin. So she's breathing out of the straws, but the goop is getting onto the straws. And at one point they fall out, but we have someone just watching off to the side. So it's, there we go. So uh, Julie is holding those up. And now I'm trying to cover up the alginate, which is starting to cure at this moment. Um, and we're just trying to get around her nose. And now, now I'm using actually the Crayola model magic to make the, the casing, just to hold the pink goo. Even when it's hardened, it's really soft. So something has to hold it in the shape, the sort of the overall shape of Sarah's head. So I'm just using aluminum foil. It was a little frustrating, a little gaffer's tape, but I, I got something that worked. So we'll cut to that in a second. So just that and lots of tape. Lots and lots of gaffer tape. Here we go, here's uh, her face. Face, I put in some plaster wrap for like uh, railroads when you make the landscape. And I put it inside there. I probably should have just used a uh, hydrocal concrete, uh, but that I didn't want to deal with it because there's carcinogens in that. So I just sort of went with, now again, there could be some in the plaster for the railroad, but I was I wore a mask. So here it is here. I built it up with clay because we didn't really get a good nose. And then I gave it a good paint job there. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, again, I would use hydrocal cement inside of it, but I didn't have any, and then you have to do precautions because of carcinogens. But uh, there we go. I'm very happy with how it happened, uh, how it turned out. And thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comment below. Cheers. Bye.